Hi, this is Maui Williams. In this short video, I would like to show you how to automate incident routing and simplify bridge call assembly. In the operations console, Big Panda allows you to set up incident filters in the form of custom environments that reflect the different teams and boxes. Here we can see that we have already created some environments based on different parameters such as cloud, data centers, and so on. We also have a teams group and within it, four team environments. Let's create a new one for the storage team. We click new environment, give it a name, and apply it to the teams group. We now include all the alerts as the source for this environment, but also apply a rule to include only alerts based on the impacted team which in our case is the storage team. We save the new environment and we can now see that it has been created. We now go to the settings menu and create an auto share for our new environment. We click create auto share and select the storage team. We then choose to escalate to the storage team Slack channel. Pressing next brings us to the personal note that we can add. We then press create and can see that the auto share has been created. Our storage team's automatic routing is now ready. Now let's go back to the incidents panel and see what happens. For viewing simplicity, let's minimize all the rest of the environments and expand only our storage team environment. Several alerts come in and are correlated into an incident, which appears in our storage team environment, based on the rule that we just set up. In a moment, we'll see how Big Panda knows that the incident is affecting the storage team. Clicking the incident shows its properties on the right. In the incident's activity feed, we can see that it has already been shared with the storage team Slack channel based on our auto share. Here is the Slack channel itself. You can see the message telling us it is a possible storage issue and also providing us with some information on the alerts that have already come in. In this case, an IO latency on disk one. And there's also a link back to Big Panda. Clicking on an alert opens up its information. In this case, coming from Datadog. But in addition to the Datadog information, we can also see dependency and topology data from other sources that Big Panda is able to collect and map through its open integrations hub. We call this enrichment. In our example, one of the enrichment data facts is the impacted team. This has caused Big Panda to route the incident to the storage team's environment. And from there, as we just saw, the auto share notifies the storage team on Slack. Also note there is a dynamic title given to the incident by Big Panda. It provides the engineers with some guidance as to the probable root cause. Here we can see the title is pointing them to an array on disk one. Now another alert comes in and the incident is escalated to critical. We now want to assemble a team on a bridge call. We select to share the incident, choose the infrastructure bridge channel on Slack and add a message. Back on Slack, we go to the infrastructure team channel and see that everyone on the team got the message to join the bridge call. Of course, sharing can be to any tool, not just Slack, based on your internal processes when initiating a bridge call. That's it. It's quite simple. In a few short steps, you can automate your incident routing and bridge call assembly. To learn more, please visit us at bigpanda.io.